Sue Newton, I'm Head of Operations at Dashdot. Also, uh, we exist to help our clients build their property portfolio so that they can achieve their dreams in essence. So um, we are with them the whole whole journey from considering to buying their investment property all the way up to when they settle um, along that journey and, and we help them achieve their dreams. Also, um, when I came on board, we had through the Growth Hub I believe two VAs um, from the Growth Hub and they were specialising in helping our property team do due diligence um, and all the uh, back end administration that it takes to uh, purchase a property in essence. So it was a, a smaller team at that stage um, that we've been growing out since then. Yeah, so in previous roles I have had VAs. Um, they were also skilled VAs. They were, um, just at architects in Philippines um, for my previous role, um, and so I'd had, you know, really good, really good experiences. Um, I brought them on from scratch at the very beginning, um, and so just going through that learning process from both sides of the ocean um, on how to work together. But it was it was a good process, and um, they added a lot of value to to that team that I was working in as well. So, yes, we are definitely scaling um, and growing. And so the in, in all areas of the business at the moment, so we're all, all scaling at the same rate together. Um, and so that goes hand in hand with um, the number of VAs that, that we need to help us achieve that work. And so we've been bringing on additional VAs in predominantly the property team because that's been growing quite quickly, but we've also brought someone on um, in the marketing team as well. So all of them have been scaling at the same rate um, as the Australian-based team have been growing as well. Yeah, the, the latter. So um, we um, already had two VAs in the property team who were doing really, really well. And so um, by, the, by the time I got here, we had already figured out what the, the workflow and what was going to be the VA's job, what was going to be the property acquisition analyst job and we'd already figured out what that split was and so it's, it's quite a, I don't even know if a big decision is the word for it, it just sort of flowed on going okay well if we're getting that many more property acquisition managers in Australia we need another couple more of, of those uh, VA team members and so um, yeah it wasn't, wasn't really a consideration at that point um, for the property team. We did go through that thought process when we we're looking at bringing in a marketing VA whether we bring someone on um, in Australia versus in the Philippines. Um, part of the decision around trying uh, bringing someone on through the growth hub in the marketing space was um, we, we already knew that that system worked and we worked well together. Um, and the whole company for, for Dashdot, everyone is working 100% remotely, not because of COVID, but that's just how the company is structured. And so um, we don't find there any to be any sticking points with working remotely with people like you would maybe in other companies. And so there's no real barrier there for us to be bringing on additional people to help us out. If they have the skill set that they need, uh, um, then it's sort of a no-brainer for us to, to keep building that space. So um, from what I understand, the onboarding for the property team in particular is where the Growth Hub specialise, which is why we sort of keep, keep building on with them. Um, and so just taking them through before they start with us, basic terminology, how the industry tends to work in Australia. Um, obviously, when they come on board with us, we train them again for specifically what we need, um, but we're not starting with someone that has no understanding at all of where they're working. So it sort of just steps us forward in that onboarding process for us so that they can be productive a lot sooner. Um, and that's in part with the, the onboarding and um, and the, the filtering system that the Growth Hub go through before they put candidates in front of us. Yeah. Um, yeah, look, really strong. I don't, I don't know if we want to go for a star system, but um, you know, they're team members, that team members that um, that we would actively work to keep. We don't see them as just like a VA. We see them as, you know, they're filling that critical role 
well. Um, they've got personal accountability for doing it well and, and consistently upskilling. So, um, yeah, we see them as actual team members uh, rather than just an outsourced additional person in the space. Yeah, so um, in the marketing team, so she is doing some basic Photoshop work, um, updating copy on websites, those sorts of things, keeping track of uh, metrics. So we um, have a dashboard for all of our KPIs and so she updates those sorts of things um, and uh, helping find data on different competitors. For the property team, they are involved in a lot of the research that we do on individual properties, um, connecting with some of our local people in Australia, so building pest specialists and solicitors and those sorts of things to get them booked in to go out to site to do an inspection. Um, they are also involved in the admin work for some of the contracts we do, so um, filling in client details, those sorts of things, so that it can just speed up the process that our property acquisition managers go through when they're issuing the contract to the client. Um, and then following up any key dates. So when you're settling a contract for a property, there are certain key dates um, that you need to meet uh, along the journey um, and they help us manage those so we don't miss any key dates um, in there as well. Um, what's happened in the last sort of six weeks is we identified that one of the property VAs that we had, had a strong background and desire to actually work in the HR space and so we needed someone in the HR space. And so she's actually transitioned out of the property team to working in our people and culture team. And so um, what she does in there is uh, connect with recruits to let them know, you know, you've got this interview coming up. Can you please follow this link? You need, I need to book you in for an interview. Um, making sure that all the notes that are coming from all the interviews are filled out um, and, and nice and succinct and, and written well so that anyone can refer back to them. Yeah, it was, it was quite fun actually. So um, yeah, we had identified that we needed, because um, we could see the value that the VA team were adding in the property team. Um, we knew we needed that help in the, the people and culture space and so we hadn't actually even um, had that conversation with the growth hub say, can you find us this person? We had spoken about it in, we have whole team meetings, so whole company meetings. And we just said, you know, just a heads up, we're looking at this person. And then um, this team member said, oh, you know, I'm really happy where I am. I'm not looking to move, but you know, I do <laughs> have a bachelor degree in people, uh, in human resources and, and those sorts of things. And she's a super valued team member. So, uh, just essentially wanted to put her in a place that she would be fulfilled and, and want to stick around for a lot longer and she's doing really well in that role now. So yeah, it was, it was quite a cool one to see her shift over and um, she was doing really well in the property team, um, but she is now in a role that's um, more career, long-term career focused for her rather than just a job she's got out, it's actually career focused for her now, which has been really awesome. So it's actually in a different space. So um, our property team, is supported by client account managers who look after our clients directly. And so what we've done in the previous sort of six weeks as, as well is via the Growth Hub, we've got a VA specifically for that team. So they're not connected to the property team, they're connected to the client account team. Um, and that VA who has come on um, has really just opened up the possibilities what the client account managers can do for our clients, just from a personal connection perspective. The client account manager role is very, very admin heavy. Um, and so it means that because they're doing their job and looking after all the admin, they're not able to connect with the clients personally as much as we would like them to. And so having this person coming into the team has really shifted the focus of that team to um, be able to connect with our clients more because a lot of the back end admin stuff has been taken care of and that's a shift in the team. We weren't really um, planning for in the long term, but it's yeah, it's opened up a lot of possibilities moving forward. I don't know if they have a huge amount of direct contact with clients. I don't think um, it would be like on Slack or those sorts of things, but um, our clients would know that they're, they're from a VA space. That would, the way that they portray themselves, the way, the way we want them to portray themselves is they're a dash top person. Uh, so I don't know if any clients would actually yeah, realise that they're, they're having that contact with them. So what about internally? 
Yeah. So, well, I mean, the, the client account manager is one. We've, we've just spoken about that. So it's allowed the client account managers to personally spend more time connecting with our clients, which is one of our missions and, and values. And so that's a really important one. For the property team, um, that's largely a throughput metric, which is essentially the engine driver for, for our company. If our property acquisition managers were spending the amount of time doing the admin that the, ad, that the VAs were doing, they would not be able to look after as many clients. And so there's a, a revenue element connected to that team. For the people in culture, once so the, the team member that moved over a couple of weeks ago, what that's allowed is for the, pe the Australian-based people and culture coordinator to um, personally connect with all the applicants that are coming through in our recruitment. Um, and what that means is that we have a higher likelihood of getting the right candidates on board because they've got that additional touch point that they didn't have before because she didn't have the capacity to call everyone where she has that capacity now. And so um, we have a yeah, highly higher likelihood of getting the right people in um, and so no to the wrong people as well. So there's a bit of risk mitigation that's um, achieved there. I think communication is a big one. So when I've worked previously at other companies with other VAs and also talking with um, other business owners that have VAs, um, it can go one of two ways, either it's super successful and awesome, or it's everyone. It's, it's not a very good situation for either size to be in. And I think um, it's setting the right expectations and communication um, across the board. So um, what I've noticed previously is there's this assumption that they, that the, the VA team maybe don't know that much or they're, they're not as good at certain things which is completely false, <laughs> um, but they do tend to have that assumption. So it's setting the right expectation that it comes down to you, like us as well, being the right people to work with. Are you clearly communicating actually what needs to happen? Are you clearly saying when something needs to happen? And what I've noticed is when you set them up for success that way, uh, the team will work their butts off to deliver that. And they take a lot of pride in being able to deliver that. Um, but it needs to start with you first as the employer to um, have the right expectations and be clear on what they are and com clearly communicate that with the team member. And if you can do that, you get a huge amount of value out of it. If you have a, a VA coming on and you're not willing to invest that time in them, then it, it's, it's going to be a bumpy road. Yeah, so Slack is probably 85 to 90% of all communications. Um, beyond that, we all do Zoom meetings. And so the VA team will be in Zoom meetings with the team that they're working with. So the property VAs will sit in with the, the wider property team. The people and culture VA will sit in with the wider people and culture team. Um, and so they have that connection, but then they also have um, their own meetings, I think once a week um, to connect with each other as well on Zoom as well. Yeah, I found um, the Growth Hub from the specialisation of working in the property space have been really good. So what I understand is they've really honed um, to specialise to a certain degree in uh, bringing VAs on that specialise in helping out people in the property industry. Um, and with that background, it's really helped us, if, if that's what you're looking for, that specialisation, um, I think that they're a fantastic partner. Um, they understand the nuances and some of you know there's legal elements to what we're doing and they're able to um, educate the VAs as well so they're educating them we're also educating them and so um, they pick up everything a lot quicker which is excellent it's not all on us to train them up from scratch um, and, and it also um, just shores up any gaps that that we might not have thought about they they sort of do continuous learning um, which I find really helpful um, the other side as well is just separate from the uh, property element is, um, you know, I feel like I have quite a, a transparent uh, working relationship with um, like Cheryl and um, Keith and um, and those people, which is how, how we run our business. Not all businesses run like that, but they seem to run their business like that. And so anytime I've had a question or um, aren't sure about why something is the way it is, um, we've had just really, you know, open, transparent conversation just and, and always coming to a, a really mutually beneficial um, middle ground, which has been really nice and just being able to hone that as we keep working together for longer. 
Ah, oh, nailing our growth. So I know what growth we're going for. I'm looking forward to nailing it. <laughs> That's going to be the next step. Yeah. <laughs>